<clears throat> All right, thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Um, not usually my norm videos, but I also make stickers and stuff uh, and sell them. But I'm making a sticker right now, or designing a sticker right now to do for a giveaway. But I just wanted to show you how I set up my old ass sticker machine. Um, took me forever to figure out how to get everything going. First off, I'm going to open. I've already saved this. This is my file I'm going to cut. I didn't even prepare for this. I, I, I'm like, let's do it. Uh, I use Vinyl Master. Um, Vinyl Master doesn't have Seeky uh, listed as a compatible um, cutter. But I figured out it does work. And I'm going to show you. So, watch. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Right, so I saved this as an EPS uh, in Inkscape. I like Inkscape. I know it's cheap. I know it's old, but it works for me. I'm fast, gooder at it, gooder. Um, so I designed it in Inkscape. I saved it as an EPS, and so now I'm importing this as a EPS. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and accept. And that's where I want to uh, paste it, right there. Um, my cutter's not hooked up. Uh, this cutter USB. I'm in my kitchen because uh, I usually shoot in my garage, but I'm doing the transmission in there and change a bunch of stuff around so we can get the truck in there and lift it up and start actually doing the transmission. But uh, how I set up my Seeky, um, I had to get this converter because this is like, oh, damn, that's not good. It's like a VGA or something like that. Um, so, you got that converter to go to USB. Here's what we have. It's a Seeky SK870T. All that other stuff. Alright, so now I'm going to select the send the selected artwork of vinyl. Shows me how it's going to cut out on the plotter or cutter. Should probably load it. Uh, I use the 380, sorry, the 3M, uh, 3M10, 1080 film. Jesus. Uh, it's got this. I, I doubt you're going to be able to see this. But on the back side, it's got like channels so the air can escape. Uh, so you very rarely get bubbles unless it's dirty under the, uh, the sticker when you put it on. So this one, it's, it's supposed to be wrapped like a vinyl wrap for a car. But I use it for windows. Some people might complain right now and please do. Um, but I've never had a problem. Been using it for like two years, maybe three at most. Never had a problem with any of my stickers yet. It is kind of hard for me to pick out, but it, they've stayed on cars and I've had no complaints. So that's my choice on and uh, I've had this for like at least seven years. We've moved hell of time, had a shop, it's dirty as shit. So I got the Titan 28 inch as my cutter selected. My media, I made it hella long. Uh, settings, cutter control, that's how much vinyl it's gonna use. Let's go to properties real fast. Uh, media length, connection, preview. You can see my connection right here. Say done. I don't know why it's so long, but whatever. I uh, have four of them. Do cut now. There we go. Yes. <laughs>
Make sure you use the proper PPE for this, such as gloves, uh, safety glasses, and what else? There's tools for all this that you can do too. I'm gonna eat buy. This is like really the getaway. Make sure you have nothing on top of it. Your whole area that you're working on is nice and clean. I usually measure out how much I need, but for video's sake, I'm just gonna hurry up and get some. This stuff isn't that cheap, so you don't wanna waste it. Start at the center, work your way out. If it's a larger sticker, you just want to work your bumps out. But with this vinyl, you can kind of see it through. There's a cross hatch area. I don't know, it just does not get air under it. So from here, it should be just straight edge. I have a block outside I use, but for video's sake again. To fit it in the envelope, I have to cut them pretty close. Alright, so that's it for... Uh, Making my, uh, I like it. My sticker on uh, my Siki using Vinyl Cut Master. Hope you like it, hope it helps you out. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys on the next one.